If you're coloring in CMYK because your publisher says that that is the color profile that the printer requires, sometimes the colors can be a little muted. So you need something to bring them back to their full luster and awesomeness. That's where a curve adjustment layer can bring back the goodness. So let's grab a curves adjustment layer. Bam. Adjustment layers are great because they're non-destructive, meaning any change that I make, it will affect the overall image. But if I don't like it, I could turn it off and I still have the original image. The curves adjustment has a whole bunch of default presets. So you open up this menu. The medium contrast is a pretty good place to start. It gives us that S-curve that you hear a lot of photographers talking about where it bumps the highlights over in this area and kind of crushes the blacks down in this area. That's actually a pretty good adjustment and if you want to dial it down a little bit, all you have to do is adjust the opacity of your adjustment layer so you can take it down if it's too harsh. There's before, there's after, so it's a slight adjustment. Or if you like the full on, you can swing it all the way back up to 100. There's another way to set this up where we could be a little bit more specific. I wanna draw your attention to this little icon, the hand with the arrows that go up and down, activate it, and then we get this eyedropper tool. And now we can adjust based on specific colors in our composition. So I wanna address this pink here, I need a little bit more vibrancy out of this. So I'm going to click, and now we got that hand icon. So we're gonna scooch it up or scooch it down. You can scooch it up or scooch it down. Bring it up just a little bit, get a little bit more saturation here. That looks good. Maybe a little bit more color in Masako's face. She looks a little pale. So I'm gonna go for this mid-tone here, select. Bring it up. Okay, maybe some more contrast in the background. So click over here. Just a little bit more. I like this a lot more than what I had before. So there you go. You can manipulate this curve directly in this window here by placing as many points as you want and then moving them up and down. But I really like using this hand tool because you can be a little bit more selective with the colors that you manipulate. This technique also works on RGB files if you find that your colors just need a little bit of a nudge. Just a little, just a little something something. It's a simple technique, but it's very powerful. And I can't wait to see how you use it to spice up your colors. Thanks for watching. Bye.